Are you lost? Hmm. Do you feel like you go through the same day over and over? Do you feel like the things that you do are gonna lead to change, but in reality, you know that everything's going to be the same forever? Do you wanna change that? Do you wanna wake up motivated every day? Do you want to know what your biggest goal is and obsess over it to the point where you lose sleep at night? If you want to know your true purpose, then let's first start at the beginning. Why do we feel lost? Most commonly in high schoolers, it is very common for teenagers to feel lost, to feel like they don't know what to do with their life. And that's mostly because I feel like it is what is expected of them. It is expected for them to know what they want. That's why it is more difficult for them to know right away. And it's also due to the fact that in this stage of life, we're still developing ourselves and we're still deciding on the person that we want to be. And the type of thing that you want to pursue in life also translates to your character. Due to this pressure, due to the fact that they have very high expectations, most teenagers will try to avoid that. There's either two paths that they could go for. They could try to meet those expectations or they could try to go the easy way about it that is to ignore those expectations. This is where pleasure and bad habits comes into play. Due to the fact that they're ignoring their purpose and what they want to do in life, teenagers will mostly just focus on pleasure. Why? Well, it's the easy thing to do. But this starts the habit on only focusing on self-pleasure. And let me tell you, no human ever was ever born to only fulfill themselves. No one's born to do that. If you find someone like this, they're probably lost. They probably don't know what their true purpose is. We struggle to find our purpose, especially nowadays, due to the fact that it is no longer necessary for us to seek survival. Survival is already given to us. It is easier than ever before. Before, during the caveman times, our purpose was to just live, to continue moving forward, to go out and hunt, to protect our family. It still is now, but it's much to a lower level, due to the fact that these desires are easily fulfilled, but not to the extent that we want them to. Not to the extent of being really secure. We're like a middle level, where survival is met but living is not it requires a huge amount of work in order to make the people around you and yourself free and the sooner you have this mindset the better for me it was a bit different I always knew what I wanted to do for my job. I always knew that I wanted to be a filmmaker. I knew that I always wanted to inspire through my art. However, I wasn't really going into depth when it came to my purpose. It's like, yes, I wanted to do this, but I didn't really have a higher vision greater than myself. I didn't know what I wanted my impact to be in the world, only until I found self-improvement. And I only found self-improvement after I graduated, so I couldn't even find my purpose during high school. That's why I'm telling you this now, because I want you to find your purpose right now. The sooner you find your purpose, more sooner you're going to you're going to achieve success. The more you're able to make your family free, the more you're able to live life. Through self-improvement, you're going to be reflecting a lot. You're going to be thinking of the things that you like, what you're good at, the type of person you want to be. For me, as I said, I always knew that I wanted to inspire through my art. I didn't really know what type of inspiration I wanted. Like the impact, like the message. I never, I never knew that. I never knew the type of people that I wanted to inspire. Only until when I got to self-improvement. Once I got into self-improvement, I knew that I want to inspire people like me. I want to inspire my younger self. And through my videos, I think I've been able to do that, to be honest. Even though I haven't been fully active on reading comments, I know some friends have reached out and said that they appreciate the work that I do, that I do help them through my videos, through educating them. And through that response, it made me realize my purpose is to build a bigger tribe, acknowledge and inspire others through my work, either be through my films, either through YouTube. I want to inspire others, educate others, and make them better, especially the younger generation. It has been harder than ever before to pursue those desires, to pursue your goals due to bad habits and due to how easily it is to consume them. It's really easy to just get your phone, start scrolling. It's very easy to go out and get junk food. All these things create brain fog that doesn't allow you to think properly, kind of have your goals and your purpose at the back of your head. So I want to give you guys some protocols that you can do, some actions. One that I have been doing for a long time and I actually did it before I discovered self-improvement is making a timetable. Pretty much make a timetable the day before and write down your ideal day. Like if you had the day all to yourself, what would you do? If you write that down, you'll see that out of everything that you write down, it's going to be some sort of work. It might not seem like work because it's probably fun to you, but that's going to be your purpose. That's going to be one of your goals. You could write multiple things, of course, in your ideal day. You're probably going to write a lot of things, but 
out of those things, that's probably gonna be one that you like the most. One that like you know you can do for a long time and that you like, of course. You shouldn't try to pursue something just for the benefits of it. If you do this, that's not gonna really work for the long term. You can change your goals. You can change on what you wanna do. But as long as you keep your values, as long as you know how you're gonna help others, then that's all that matters. The work is just like a tool to get you there. This is just one easy protocol, but it's not gonna solve your problems, to be honest. Most of the time, the purpose doesn't really come to you automatically. It could, of course there's outliers out there, but most of the time, you most likely gonna find and pursue your purpose through suffering. If you, if you do bad habits, there's going to come a point where life is gonna hit you hard. And once this happens, either you can either do two things, either you can keep doing the bad habits and life hits you harder, or you can start changing your life for good. If you choose the second path, then the realization of your purpose is going to come easily. Just being on self-improvement, just working on yourself. If you do it properly, of course, that path to finding your purpose is going to be automatic. Through self-improvement, you do a lot of reflecting, writing down, reading, meeting new people. Of course, you see yourself through the eyes of others. You become more smarter. It's all a matter on how you want to do it. Do you want to do it the hard way or do you want to do it the harder way? It's up to you. But no matter what, all purposes lead to the same thing. It leads to leaving something behind for the next generation. For example, what I'm doing right now, a video. This video is going to stay on the internet forever and ever and anybody can watch it. It is something that I'm living behind for the next generation. No matter what, leaving something behind for the next generation can be a purpose that anybody can have. Even if your parents are not really all that successful and they like money, they won't really feel lost because they know that at the end of the day, they have to pursue the purpose of providing for you. That's why you don't really see parents depressed or lost because they know that their purpose is their children. That's why whenever you reach your goal, whenever you like, let's say, become famous, make a lot of money, that's why the next step for most people is to have children because it's naturally the next best purpose any human being can have. It's only a matter of whether or not you're ready for that commitment or you want to keep growing on yourself more. It's going to take a long time, but at the end of the day, the reward for having a child is going to be worth it. So with that, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new or if you like my channel. And always remember to live your life like there's no tomorrow.